are the Ingenium engines really that bad? Yes. So, the petrols are better because the main issues that you find with the diesel ones is down to oil dilution. And oil dilution doesn't tend to happen in petrol cars. I'm not going to say that it doesn't happen because it does. But what happens is because uh, petrol's got such a low uh, boiling point, it evaporates. So it's never in there for long. When you've got a diesel car and you get dilution, it stays there. Boiling point of diesel is 165 degrees roughly, right? Whereas the boiling point of petrol is 70-ish, something like that. So with that in mind, it, the petrol evaporates a lot easier. The diesel stays in the oil. Now, this is quite controversial, but I'm sure Christopher will back me up on this one. What was happening is when Land Rover produced the Ingenium engine, it was supposed to have a 22,000 mile service interval. I think it was 21 actually, but whatever. And, um, but they were getting multiple reports of the oil service light coming on early. So rather than reduce the oil service interval, because that's already printed in all these millions of handbooks they printed, they changed the software to measure the dilution counter slightly higher. So instead of being at 5%, it's now at 10%, so it would last twice as long. But that had a detrimental impact on everything else in the engine. But the petrols didn't suffer with the problem because they didn't really suffer with dilution. So if I'm going to get an Ingenium, it'll be a petrol one. Um, and if I'm, even if I'm that mad to get a petrol one, then just shoot me. 